Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, May 22nd. We're just going to jump right in here, Sagittarius, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you. You have this new moon in Cancer. It says you are, um, you and your loved ones are safe. I almost read that as you are loved and you are safe. So, you know, Either way, <laughs> I think that it's a good thing. You have the Knight of Wands, the uh, Ace of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. I kind of get the feeling of needing to start, uh, needing to kind of like take those steps um, to get started on something without maybe having everything you need. Again, pretty much every single person gets a message like this nowadays. Um, you know, I just think it's a sign of the times. I feel like the universe is kind of requiring us to uh, just take those steps. Again, too many people think like, oh, I want to start a business, but I don't have the money, or I want to get into this relationship, but I don't have the money, or I don't have, you know, something else that I think I need. And really, that's not how the universe works. We have to take the steps first, and then the universe will like bring us what we want. So I think more people need to do that. And these can be very small steps, by the way, like if you want love, um, you can just start by uh, working on loving yourself, for example. Uh, you can just start by taking yourself out on dates and things like that. And um, you know, doing things that people who are in love already do, right? When you act that way, then you attract love. So there you go. Uh, same thing with money. It's like just being in the in the energy of abundance will bring you more abundance. And I kind of feel like this is saying you have to take the steps first and then you're going to get what you want. Uh, you have the um, Knight of Wands here, but the Knight of Wands goes to the King of Wands. Uh, I kind of feel like this is your energy here in this reading. I feel like you're showing up in a strong position. The Knight of Wands, more importantly, He's willing to be spontaneous. Like he doesn't need to know all the answers. He just starts his journey and he figures it out. Again, he doesn't worry whether or not he has the money or not with the five of pentacles showing up here. Five of pentacles says there's always gonna be a million and one reasons not to do something, but there are also other reasons to do something. You know, it's like for every person that basically says something in my comments like, oh, that doesn't work. There's like 10 more that say, yes, it does work. You know, like any idea or anything that I suggest doing. So it's like, you know, if you think that something is going to work for you, it's not going to work. If you think that it is, it will. Uh, but not only that, the Five of Pentacles is very specifically a card of needing to not call attention to your weaknesses. It says focus on your strengths and, you know, don't try to be good at everything in like work, business, uh, even in your love life. It's like there could be, again, a million and one reasons why someone shouldn't love you. <laughs> but, but again, what are the reasons that they should? That's what you should be focusing on here. Uh, there's clearly a very passionate new beginning coming in for you. You have the Ace of Wands. You also have the Ace of Cups. Two aces in a reading, uh, to me, is a definite yes to any question that I have not answered. So I feel like there is a big yes right here. You, you have two aces. Um, but I also feel that, you know, kind of, again, the Ace of Wands is saying, move towards your desire. That's like the only thing. I think that's something that I tried to get across in my readings is that the only thing we have right now is the desire to do something or we feel, maybe we feel inspired to do something. But it's like, um, you know, the challenge is getting started on the things that we feel inspired to do. Like that's the challenge that all of us have to deal with from the universe. Thank you, universe, right? <laughs> and so the people who are like creative, who just take those first steps to, you know, start that business, start that relationship or do whatever it is you want to do. Those are the people who are going to be successful. With the uh, Knight of Wands, you have the Two of Swords. Yes, you have to do things you've never done before. Again, we are all in a trap right now. For sure, we have been in a trap for, you know, I bet if you think back to even before the beginning of COVID, like, you know, three years ago or whatever, um, you, you've probably been doing the same thing, you know, that you were doing then, you know, or maybe there's some sort of behavior that you've been doing the same since that period of time. And, uh, you know, again, I think we all just need, you know, I, I think one great way to break out of this is a change in behavior, like changing your daily routine or, you know, just doing something differently. So if you could do that, I feel like you'll be uh, much more successful. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Five of Wands. Um, five of Wands is a card of conflict and competition. It's a, But really, I always say that on the Five of Wands, the people on this card, they are learning how to fight. They're, use, they're not using swords to fight. They're using, you know, sticks. So they're basically learning. And with the Ace of Wands here, you know, this could say that you could be learning how to, you know, create something or do something in your life. With the Five of Pentacles, you have the Lovers. Some of you definitely could have gone through a breakup or that could be kind of like affecting you at this time. And I say that because 
we go um, five of swords to the seven of pentacles. And this would represent like a change in direction. And you literally have this change card with this courtship card. I mean, I don't know, looks pretty simple to me. It looks like you could be attracting a new person who's going to be courting you uh, if you are looking for love. Um, you know, air and fire stand out to me. So it could be another a fire sign or it could be an air sign. Uh, next, you, in the area of what you need to know right now, you have this infinite possibilities card. I'm almost positive that you have this card with me recently. It says you are on the right path. Favorable energies are guiding you at this time. You have this web of creation. It says, be aware of what you're weaving in your life to create a better experience. I literally just basically said that, that you need to change your behavior, which is when we change our behavior, we change our story. You know, it's like, um, you know, I'm super passionate about guys like uh, Bruce Lipton, right? He always says that, you know, 95% of our lives are lived on autopilot. Do uh, Joe Dispenza basically says the same thing. And so like, you know, I learned about both of those guys like years ago. And ever since I've consumed their content, like I literally try to not live on autopilot. In, in some ways, it's it's a good thing that we live on auto autopilot. If we had to think about breathing and uh, beating our hearts, that would be very complicated. So thank God our brain takes care of that for us, right? Um, but again, there are other things that we probably shouldn't do on autopilot. We all have autopilot responses. Someone cuts you off on the road. What do you do? You probably go off or flip them off or whatever, right? That's an autopilot response. So I, like over the past few years, I've really worked on, you know, kind of breaking those things. It's changed my life. So again, that's why I'm very passionate about it is, you know, making sure that I do things on purpose and changing my story, changing my behavior. It totally has changed my life and it's free. So I always tell people it's free. It doesn't cost any money for you to just make a little change, right? And I feel like that's what this reading is talking about. You have the King of Wands, the uh, Five of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing. So I do feel that there is a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you with the Ace of Cups. Um, I do feel there could be a love offer. Again, you know, if we look at, look like, look at this, you know, Three of Cups to the Two of Cups, definitely a love offer. Going this way, it could be a King of Swords type person, someone who's very mature, um, you know, very hardworking is what I'm getting here. Could be any gender, just because it's a king doesn't mean that it has to be a man, but, um, you know, it could be someone who's just very mature. You have the Five of Swords. I kind of, it's kind of weird how I feel about this Five of Swords. I feel like it's a bunch of little things that have kind of like added up over time that maybe you need to change or maybe you need to do differently. So again, I feel like like changing your behaviors or, you know, doing, you know, acting differently would be a good idea for you. You have the King of Wands. King of Wands about being bold, being assertive, like really going for things that you want in your life. So I feel the more you could do that, the better. I also feel like risk taking, you know, the thing about the King of Wands is on a traditional King of Wands, he has like salamanders on his cloak and salamanders in the tarot represent protection from fire. So they basically represent protection from risk. And I kind of feel like this is encouraging you to take those first steps. Like I said, even if you feel like, oh, I don't have the money or, oh, I don't have this, that, or the other thing, really that five of pentacles is saying, stop focusing on it. <laughs> Focus on what you do have because you have, what you have is you have more than enough. I keep telling people, it's like, you know, we have to work with what we've got. You know, that's what the universe is basically saying to all of us. We're not gonna get more until we get started. So, you know, that's why I'm, again, so passionate about telling people to like get moving right now. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is my card of experimentation. It is a card that says don't give up, but more importantly, it's kind of, like a card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So again, in any area of your life that you're trying to improve, I would be like experimenting. Uh, with the five of swords, you have the nine of swords. Something had to come to an end is what I'm getting here. It's like, if this was a breakup, you know, it had to come to an end. And maybe this is something that really hurt your self-esteem is what I'm getting, especially, you know, lovers, five of pentacles, five of swords, nine of swords. You know, it's like something that really, you know, kind of hurt you in some way. But maybe, you know, I kind of feel it's different than other things. Like breakups always hurt, right? But this is different. You know, it's like more, I, I feel like there was more of, you know, a blow to your self-esteem or something like that. Uh, for others, you know, again, if it wasn't love, I feel like some of you maybe recently like didn't get a job or didn't get approved for something you were hoping to get approved for. And you know, that's what's popping into my head. But the good news is, again, I feel like there's some sort of change in this row that's gonna lead to a celebration, which is what we're gonna talk about. So again, not getting approved for something or, you know, whatever, ha whatever your story happens to be, I feel this wasn't to hurt you, it was actually to help you. So it's almost like this reading is kind of saying, that you could be seeing how something was actually a blessing in disguise, not you know, not something that hurt you. With the Ace of Cups, you have the world. 
world is a card of accomplishments and it's also a card of getting out into the world. <laughs> so I really feel you should be doing that. It's also a card of creating worlds. There's normally a sorceress in the middle of the world. And you know, that sorceress, she has like two wands. One's like the magician wand. She can create things with her words or, and uh, you know, through manifestation. The other one is like action. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, it's like you are with that web of creation, you could literally be creating worlds in your mind right now. Uh, you have this change card. This is in the area of the unexpected in this courtship card. So I feel there's like some sort of change that's going on in your love life for sure. Uh, if you want love, if it's not love, again, I feel this is like a blessing in disguise type of deal here. Um, again, I, I kind of feel like that courtship card is saying that you thought something was going to work out differently than it actually did. Again, if this was like a job, for example, um, or even if it was a relationship, doesn't matter. But it's like sometimes I think we get courted by a job, right? And maybe it looks really good. Maybe maybe they're like maybe the HR person is like, oh my god, you're you're gonna get this job and everything. So I kind of have like broken expectations or something like that is popping into my head, and you know that's what I'm getting here, really like that's the energy I'm getting, but something changed obviously. And you have the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is a change in direction. You have the page of wands and the three of cups. So it's like something didn't add up here with the seven of pentacles. And again, I kind of feel like this week you could be seeing how something that you weren't approved for or didn't get was actually a blessing in disguise. Uh, same thing if this is love as well. Again, if this is love, I feel same thing like could be a person that didn't work out. Maybe you see him on TV getting arrested or something like that, right? <laughs> so, you know, again, I feel like you're kind of, you know, seeing that something wasn't meant to work. Uh, you have the page of wands. Uh, page of wands is, of course, like adventure, enthusiasm, being very enthusiastic. We see a ton of this here. Uh, Knight of wands, king of wands, this card here. Uh, I keep telling people as well, again, with the ace of wands that, you know, we're really in a time where we have to move towards our enthusiasm. And again, it's like every single reading I get, um, Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles comes up. It, it Again, I think it's the universe is like trying to say, you have to create this thing that you feel enthusiastic about or excited about. Again, the Ace of Wands is something that wakes you up in the morning. It's like one of those ideas where it, you wake up at like five o'clock in the morning because you're so excited to think about it or work on it, right? It, it's, you know, the spark of life. I always say the Ace of Wands sometimes I feel is like the one thing we need to feel super motivated in life because it's like that, the root going down into the soil from like a seed. It's that, you know, spark of life, that spark of inspiration. And I kind of feel like if you don't have an idea or something that you could be developing one this week, and uh, I would move with it. Again, You obviously, if a seed sprouts, you have to take care of it. You have to water it. You have to give it sunlight. You have to uh, give it fertilizer and all that other stuff. So, you know, I would like nurture something here. Uh, you have the three of cups. I also feel like you could ask for help. You know, there could be a lot of people that could help you at this time. So, you know, this could be like teaming up with other people. Um, you know, it could be learning from other people as well. Uh, I always tell people like, you know, just because a card says like teamwork doesn't mean you literally have to work with, with people. It could say like, maybe you watch their YouTube videos about like a business you wanna start. You're kind of working with those people. So, you know, anything, any benefits you can get from other people would be great. That's what I'm getting on that three of cups. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands here. Again, Ace of Wands twice, damn, love it. Uh, you're the only sign that's had the Ace of Wands this week, I think. Um, so there's definitely a lot of growth and inspiration coming in at this time. And that it's funny because that courtship card, I keep focusing on it. Like normally I don't really, you know, I, it's hard to explain. I, I don't normally just like focus on those cards. And um, but I keep focusing on it. And it, it, it's almost as if something is, you know, kind of like drawing you in. And I'm not even saying it's a person. You know, again, I feel this could be an opportunity. And with the Ace of Wands, it would be something that constantly captures your attention. Something that, you know, maybe you're going for a walk or maybe during the day, it, it just kind of pops into your head, like an idea, a plan, something you want to start. I would look into it with the Page of Wands. You have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords says, the only thing you have to do is be a detective. You know, he's like the true detective in the tarot. He really looks into things that he's interested in. He really puts the work in to create things as well. He's like kind of very, um, it's not that he's just kind of like a detective, but he's almost kind of very thoughtful. He kind of like starts getting those wheels into motion, right? Like if he's interested in a new idea, he thinks about it, but then he thinks Page wants, how can I take action on it as well? Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the Page of Cups. Look at all these pages right here. Three pages. Uh, definitely could be a secret admirer. Like whenever we have three pages like this, you know, it could represent a person who's interested in you, a person who wants to make a move towards you. And you have the Two of Cups right here. So definitely could be love. Um, again, if it's not love, and even if it is, uh, I feel a lot of you, it's like you're working on your ideas. 
I feel like you have a lot of dreamy ideas, and I, I think your biggest challenge is the story that you tell yourself, that web of creation, needing to tell yourself that you are the type of person that is successful at whatever it is that you're doing. So that's what I'd work on there. Uh, next, we're gonna look at the good stuff. And again, these cards are gonna be good no matter what. Both of these cards are blocked chakra cards. So again, because they're showing up in the area of the good stuff, you could be unblocking these chakras. You have this blocked heart chakra. It says may experience emotional issues like anger, lack of trust or jealousy. I think this is where you're coming from here. And especially, it's kind of interesting because like sometimes like I totally get this here, Sagittarius. I'm just gonna put this out there, right? <laughs> it's like if you have a business, let's say you have like a YouTube channel or something like that. You might be, you might be finding those moments where you are jealous of other creators or something like that. And again, we've all been there. I'm not afraid to admit there were times where I've been there, you know, as well. So it's like, I think it's what we do with it. If we find ourselves being jealous, I think we should be saying, well, I shouldn't, you know, we just have to correct it in our head. Jealousy is a perfectly normal human emotion. I hate when I see people that are like, oh, I'm never jealous. I'm perfect. It's like, yeah, bullshit, right? Um, is what I would say there. So what's more important is correcting yourself in life. None of us are perfect. We're not meant to be perfect. So, you know, again, if you're finding yourself doing that, I would just correct it, right? Uh, you have this root chakra card as well. And this card says, may experience pessim pessimism, uh, poor focus, and lack of ambition. But I actually feel like you're becoming very ambitious. You have all these wands cards and the ace of wands twice. Um, you know, for some of you, I would say ace of wands like out with the old, in with the new. So I feel like you're very focused on new beginnings. You have the king of swords, the 10 of wands, and the two of cups. Definitely could be a king of swords type person coming in for you in love, like a... Um, air sign, you know, someone very mature, very successful, hardworking. You know, I always say that, um, you know, to me, the King of Swords, like a positive version of the King of Swords is someone who probably has a lot of experiences in life. And again, usually that comes with maturity, of course, but um, usually there's like more, you know, they can be King of Swords type people can be very like well-traveled or, mm, you know, maybe they just ha have had a lot of experiences, right? So if you're wondering like, who is this person? That's what I'd be looking for. And again, gender doesn't matter, whatever gender you're interested in. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands here. Mm, I, feel, I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like you've been here for a long time. Like Ten of Wands energy, trying to get things to work, um, you know, putting in the work. I really feel like you've been trying <laughs> is what I'd say. And I kind of feel like this Ten of Wands saying, don't give up. You're at the end, right? It's coming up in the good stuff. Normally on the Ten of Wands, this guy on the Ten of Wands is about to reach his home in the background. So it's like he's about to have a harvest. And I feel like you are about to have a big harvest here, Sagittarius. Uh, you have the two of cups. Uh, definitely could be a solid love connection coming in for you. Again, this could be like a soulmate if you want love. Uh, for the rest of you, you know, I always say that the two of cups is like you and your higher self. So it, it kind of represents listening to your higher self or, you know, listening to what, like where you are being guided to. And I feel like you are being guided at this time, like by your higher self. So I would pay attention to that. But uh, let's see where this is going uh, with the King of Swords. You have the Three of Cups, definitely a celebration. You have Three of Cups twice. So, you know, it could be a very solid person coming in for you. Um, you know, it could be like a reunion as well um, for some of you. I don't think this is a person from the past, uh, but maybe it's a person you know from the past. Again, I don't think, intuitively, I don't feel like you've ever dated this person. You have the Ace Wands twice, brand new, you know? So it's like probably, but it might be someone you know from the past. It could be like an old friend or something like that. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, too many ideas. Needing to focus on one thing. It is showing up in the good stuff. So I kind of feel like you could be removing some burdens with that Ten of Wands. Again, Ten of Wands is being burdened. Um, and sometimes I feel with the Ten of Wands, we are carrying too much of other people's BS, right? So, you know, it's like maybe you're uh, kind of more focusing on your life, <laughs> which would be a good thing. With the two cups, you have the king of cups. Yes, we already know. You have three kings as well. It's like almost an emperor. You have one, two, three right here. Um, but definitely could be love with that king of cups. Um, you know, it could be a, a, a person who has like all three of those energies in them. They could be very, you know, adventurous, bold, and assertive and confident with the king of wands. Very, you know, intelligent, wise with the king of swords. And they could, uh, you know, be very willing to share their emotions and their feelings with the uh, king of cups. So kind of looks like a good person to me. Um, but let's see, we're going to pull five main themes now here, Sag, and we're going to see what comes up. Uh, you have the sweetheart card. There you go. You're attracting like a real sweetheart. <laughs> Maybe this person writes you letters or something. I have no clue. Who cares? But, you know, definitely could be a very solid connection. 
Uh, you have this old woman card. Again, um, you know, I feel like for some of you, you could be attracting a more mature person. That's really all I get here is like, you could be attracting a mature person. I also feel like some of you could have a mature person in your life who you need to pay attention to. It's like, you know, it could literally be like a grandparent or something like that or a parent. Um, but I feel like they could have good advice for you. Remember what I was saying about teamwork earlier? Uh, next, you have this falseness card. I kind of feel like you're, I feel like you're very in tune right now <laughs> is what I get. So, you know, it's like if you're picking up bad vibes from a person, you know, I would trust your vibes. I kind of feel this is saying you're very in tune and you can tell when someone is true or false and I would pay attention to that. You have this melancholy card. I feel like you need to pick yourself up here and, you know, I feel like you need to keep trying. You know, it's like sometimes like in work or business, I think we f like maybe we think we're doing everything that we could be doing, but we're not. So, you know, I would like say if you're feeling disappointed in work or business, I got that at the end for whatever reason, even though it's showing up in the good stuff. Again, I read intuitively and I feel like some of you could be like disappointed in your results. But I think if you kind of put it into perspective and you say like years ago, I wasn't even making this much money, right? Like, especially for those of you that have a business, I think things are better. And it's like, once you start focusing on that, then things will continue to get better. Uh, you have this merchant card. Yes, yeah, see, I, some of you are like selling something or maybe you're thinking about like starting an online shop or something like that, right? And, um, you know, I, I would like get moving here. This is a card of success. It's a card of, um, you know, kind of selling things, obviously being a merchant. And again, that's where I get the disappointment <laughs> for some of you. But again, I feel like there are just certain things that you're not trying. I would start like learning about business or whatever. If it happens to be business and I would figure it out. For others, I'm just getting travel here. And so you could be traveling, but this is a really good reading, Sag. I like where it's going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.